welcome back to my channel. It's me, Ruby. If you're new here, welcome. Um, today we're going to be doing a um, different kind of sit-down video. I thought I would talk about as we are now in 2021, a new year for bigger and brighter things, how you guys can make a little more money on the side, whether you're in school or have a full-time job, to you know, pursue anything you want, to do anything you want, to buy that cute pair of pants you've wanted for a while, but but can't spare the coin. I'm going to be talking about 10 different side hustles that you guys can implement into your 2021 year of success. Some of these you may have heard of already. I've definitely gotten inspiration from this video, but I thought it'd be good to just make a whole video about some ideas for you guys if you are looking to make some more money. I think having multiple streams of income is the smartest thing you can do because you never know what is going to fall through. Um, obviously, everything does is very time consuming, so you kind of have to strategize how you do it depending on your life and your schedule. So without further ado, let's just get started. If you guys are not already, don't forget to subscribe, check out my Instagram. I also have a Depop if you guys are interested in some clothes. <laughs> so before we get started, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you guys don't know what Skillshare is, it's an online learning community where millions come together to take the next steps in their creative journey. I thought this sponsorship would be perfect for this video because a lot of these side hustles you can learn so much about on Skillshare. You could even learn a skill and become very, very good at it through Skillshare to then turn over into a side hustle, if that makes sense. If any of the topics I talk about today you are interested in but don't feel that you're an expert in, definitely look them up on Skillshare, find a class and check them out and see what you can learn because I guarantee you'll learn so much and feel 100% more confident going into your side hustle. Skillshare has a ton of classes from illustration, graphic design, film, productivity, marketing, entrepreneurship, all things like that. So options are definitely endless for you. A class I've recently taken is DIY product, product photography, how to style and shoot creative stills because as I'm working with more brands, I find I have to take more product shots, which is something I'm not really skilled at. So I'd like to learn more. And I found the class very interesting. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, so there is no ads, thank God. And they're always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and really just follow your creativity. Skillshare is also super affordable, being less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. So with all that being said, the first 1,000 of you to click the link in my description, as well as the pinned comment, will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership to, you know, just learn something new, explore your creativity. So I hope you guys all click it. I love Skillshare. So thank you guys for sponsoring this video and enjoy the side hustles, make that money. The first side hustle I have is doing small jobs on, for example, TaskRabbit or Fiverr. I think TaskRabbit is honestly great. If I needed something, like if I need to make money in an extra way, I would totally just sign up for TaskRabbit. Basically like make a profile and list the type of tasks you're able to do and someone can hire you to do pretty much anything. Last time when I was moving, I needed to get out of my apartment and I didn't have enough time to bring my packages to the post office. So I literally hired somebody to do that for me and you set your hourly rate or however long rate. And and you just get basically tasked and paid to do odd jobs. It could be walking a dog, like picking something up, who knows. But if you're fine with doing that, obviously you can check it out and see what kind of tasks people are doing. A lot of people do it for like moving, building Ikea furniture or any furniture, things like that, that I know people are like mounting something on a wall. So if you're good with like, if you're good with like house stuff, I don't know, like the uh, really the opportunity is endless on TaskRabbit. There's definitely something you can cater to. Um, anywho, so I would definitely check that out. I hire task rabbits all the time because I really just don't have all the time. And I think task rabbits really good if you don't have time to do everything you want to in a day. Um, and then Fiverr is more, I think, for creative people. If you have a certain skill, like you're really good at graphic design or you're good at editing audio clips or, or writing, you're, you're a talented writer and you make really good. You can also check out Fiverr. I'll have them both linked down below, but Fiverr I think is more for creative. You actually have to have a specific skill and people will hire you to do that. Um, people who are looking for someone to do that will hire you to do that. In general, doing odd jobs I think is a great side hustle and it's also convenient because you can, it's also convenient because there's no strict time schedule you literally do it when you want so when you feel like doing a task for task rabbit you make yourself available for it and that's it you don't have to there's no obligation to do a task 
time doesn't permit you to do it, if that makes sense. The next one is a quite obvious one, I'm sure you all know, but starting a YouTube channel is a great side hustle, a very time consuming side hustle, and it's definitely not a side hustle that you are immediately rewarded with, but nonetheless it is a side hustle and I would say the rewards of the work and time you put into a YouTube channel are worth the time and effort you put into it. They come on they come later on. You'll reap the benefits later on if you stick with this side hustle, but I think it would it's definitely worth it, in my opinion. But again, it's not for everyone. You do kind of nowadays have to have your own kind of niche or audience that can relate to or very high quality content so it definitely is nowadays harder but I wouldn't discourage anyone from doing it I think if you have the drive and you want it bad enough then you can a hundred percent make a YouTube channel and, and have it as a side hustle that being said I would never go into it wanting to solely just make money from having a YouTube channel you have to really love what you're doing if you do want to be successful because people will see right through you Um, the next one is start a small business and this is very general but I think 2020 was the year that everyone just had the guts had the time to start their small business which I think is amazing so you know it could be jewelry candles clothing whatever small business you want to make like poster design like I don't even know anything you can think of that you think there is a market for I would a hundred percent say to go for it I have always been very business driven and I think that's amazing I want to have like a million businesses like if I had the time I totally would if I knew how to do that completely I totally would but yeah, I would say go for it. Obviously, a lot of research and um, process goes into starting your own business. But if you have a passion, then I would say go for it. So number four is to become a delivery driver. If you can drive or bike, I think you can even walk for Uber Eats or any of the delivery food services. But delivers for Uber Eats, Postmates, and DoorDash average around $15 to $20 an hour delivering food. And I don't know about here, I think that's, that's more than minimum wage. So I didn't know they made that much, so that's pretty interesting to me. And again, that's another one of the side hustles you can do on your off time whenever you're not actually working or not in school. So I think that's a great way to make money. That's that's $15 to $20 an hour. That's pretty dang good to me. And then you can also get tips. The next side hustle I have is proofreading. If you are someone who is skilled in English and has always excelled in English and feels that they're, you know, qualified to proofread others work then this can be an amazing opportunity for you to make some money on the side apparently people make a thousand dollars or more per month proofreading from home so it's a great option if you're lazy and don't want to see people and don't want to move so through a program called the vip kid you can actually teach kids english so if english is your first language and you're fully fluent in english then you can earn up to 22 dollars per hour teaching kids english um i think it's also from what i've read it's also the kind of job where you do it whenever you want there's no it's pretty flexible for your schedule next i wrote down depop seller this is another huge one i think blew up the last few years especially this past year selling your old clothes on depop Pop is definitely a side hustle but I would say it even more is when you go out specifically to thrift items for your Depop shop and create a curated kind of it is essentially like an online shop through Depop um, 100% I made a whole video about how much money I made on Depop in one year so I would 1000% say that Depop is a valid side hustle and it does take a lot of work because essentially you're creating your own brand for yourself if you if you get to the point where you're actually using it as a physical like as a shop as a side hustle as a business and you are creating a brand for yourself you need to do you need to think about your packaging you need to think about what will keep customers coming back things like that um, I think Depop selling is definitely a huge one and it's fairly easy to do as long as you have an eye for like what's trending and what people want and what your sell your buyers are interested or your followers are interested in and um and you have access to obviously good thrift stores for like decent prices it's definitely a viable option um another thing that you can do is in the same genre is like thrifts and flipping things so you can buy ugly things and if you know how to sew and you can easily flip them into amazing beautiful item i am not so skilled and kind of lazy but i know there are a lot of people on depot that do that they'll crop things they'll like add a little zhuzh i don't know but definitely an option so the next one is starting a patreon which is something i honestly was considering doing but i'm not i don't really have time right now but patreon is basically a subscription-based 
kind of program or software i suppose app i don't really know which one but it's something you subscribe to like your apple music or your spotify and you pay a certain amount each month depending on how much they are charging you and like if i were to do it i would have you guys pay like three dollars a month or something and i you would get exclusive um maybe styling videos or ex basically exclusive content in some sort that only you can see if you subscribe to it. I don't know, I think you kind of have to be creative to think of what your Patreon would be about and how you would, how you would want people, how you would actually get people to subscribe because they really want to see your content. So yeah, but I think that's a good viable si uh, side hustle. Even if it's $3 a month, $3 a month adds up, guys, so. And if it's like $3 a month from 50 people, I don't know how much that is because I'm stupid, that's $150 a month. Next is start a consulting service. So I've seen quite a few people actually do this and talk about it this year, and I think it's a great idea if you are someone who is educated in a specific service or topic or job skill anything like that and you basically offer your consulting on that specific topic to others who do, don't know as much or whatever so for example like social media people are social media consultants and they help people grow and how to get the best engagement what they should be posting um things like that so if that's something you feel you are very educated in or any topic um, that you can think of then you could totally start a consulting business and charge anywhere from like 60 to 300 dollars an hour depending on how much credibility you have and then the last idea i had i don't know i think this is 10 hopefully this is 10 i don't know is to create instagram presets so i've seen a lot of bloggers do this but i think anyone could do it if you feel like you have a good eye for um filtering and adjusting lighting and things like that and how to enhance photo photos in general um, while you're editing you can create presets which are essentially just making everyone's life easier by just having the preset there the edited preset that you can just put on top of your photo without having to adjust everything yourself and then people sell them in packs or individually and you can only really have the preset if you buy it so if you feel creative in that way then that's another great option so yeah that was all the side hustles i had to tell you guys about i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's kind of random but um i thought it was cool i'm really interested in business and like money and financial kind of stuff so i thought this was fun to make if you guys want to see more videos like this then let me know so yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.